Hi, welcome back or welcome to my channel if you're new. My name is Laura. Hi, hello, welcome. I'm sitting down today to film my first update for my year-long project pan. I can't believe it's been a month since I posted the last one. It's just bananas to me. Before we get started, I do want to tell you a little bit of background with my project pan. So my year-long project pan is very much inspired slash the concept was picked from <laughs> Alexi Shostin and Rebecca Morgan's concept, the roulette pan collab. I have the two spreadsheets, the 50 list item and then the 100 list item. I have combined those both together and I am using that as my year long project. I like these prompt based projects. They're very inspiring to me. I get to like hand pick select items out of my collection. I either like to do it prompt based or I've realized like Prompt or favorites are like my favorite two things to pan or the most successful things I have to pan. I think prompt based because I get to pick items that I like that fit the category rather than like randomization where I'm like, well, maybe I like it, maybe I don't kind of thing. We're going to talk about everything in order of when I rolled it in. Um, and kicking it off, we're going to be talking about this guy right here. So I'll have a clip of what my hourglass ambient lighting volume one palette looked like before this update. And this was for the prompt, a baked item. And I was really just focused on that center shade. It's called incandescent light. And I already had substantial pan when I had rolled it into this project. So my goal is to finish that powder. And as you can see now, it is completely used up. There is a little bit inside of like the waffle panning. However, I am going to consider this done. <laughs> there is no way I'm reaching into that to get the little, little, little nubs of product out. When we rolled this into the project, this was weighing 94.6 grams. And through using it, the 14 uses it took me to finish this, as well as dipping into these shades, even after I finished incandescent light, I still was using these shades in my everyday makeup routine. Um, I ended up using a gram of product. The second prompt that we had in this project was something that reminds you of your favorite Disney villain. And I didn't really have, like, I don't have favorite villains more so than favorite and protagonist, the good guys. So I ended up picking something from my favorite Disney movie in general, which is The Little Mermaid. And I picked a lipstick that kind of reminded me of um, Ursula. I'm wearing this today actually, but my goal was to use this 10 times and throughout the course of this project, we ended up using this 13 times, um, reached for it for the 13th time today. I reached for this a lot as like a blush and lip combination. So if I wear, wore it as a cream blush, it counted as a use. If I wore it as a lipstick, it counted as a use. If I wore them together, in the same look as a cream blush and a lipstick, it counted as one use. So every day that I reached for it, it was one use. This is just a really matte, oh, purpley-ish, magenta-y kind of color. I ended up using 0.1, so a tenth of a gram of product in this, which isn't substantial, but 13 uses is a lot of uses for a shade that I really wasn't using much at all. The next prompt that we had was an item with boring packaging. And for that, I ended up picking a, maybe it's not boring packaging. I definitely think it's boring packaging. It's not flashy. There is nothing cool about it. It broke on mine. I know it's broken on many other people's components, but I ended up going with the e.l.f. Um, cream contour palette and my focus is the top right shade the lightest contour shade the more contoury of the contour shades in this palette my goal for that guy is to completely finish that as well so I ended up using this guy 25 times this was by far the most used product in my project this year so here is what it was looking like before the first the introduction and this is what it's looking like now. You can definitely see the pan growth in that first shade. I really have not reached for the bottom two shades at all, but I'm reaching for this top shade so, so much. I am exclusively using this as my bronzer product most days. I will put this on. I put my concealer on. I have foregone like true foundation anymore. So this has been like my sole bronzing product. Like I do not put a powder bronzer on top of it. Every day I think my makeup looks good. I look 
not flat. The next item in this project was for the prompt, an expensive product. And I took full liberty to reach into my collection and grab one of the most expensive items in my collection. I have two that were the same price and they're these big heffin Natasha Denona 28 pan palettes. If I could go back in time and do it again, I probably wouldn't purchase these um, only because I don't find myself gravitating towards them as much as I thought that I would. My goal with the this palette is to project level up it and that is inspired by Sophie Alexandra. I ended up dipping into this palette 13 times. Here is what my palette is looking like now. I think it looks definitely more loved and used. Like you can definitely see, and yes I have, technically no pan left behind this already. So I have reached half of my goal for the project level up within this palette project. I have reached for every single shade one time, at least one time. Most, um, I've reached for a few shades more than once and especially the shade that I'm trying to hit pan in, which I don't know if you can tell, it's one of the more challenging shades to me. There is something about me that just makes myself do the hard things first. So if I like a palette, I usually gravitate towards the more difficult shade to hit pan first if I had that option. I don't know why that is. It's like subconsciously I want to save the best for last. So I use the, what I would consider like quote unquote the worst first. Um, but I have been using this shade here, Peniha, for a few times. I, I could not tell you how many uses. I'm not tracking uses in this project that way, but I have been reaching for this shade as a lower lash line, like grungifier essentially. So I've ended up using 0.6 grams of product in this palette by reaching for every single shade once, maybe, maybe five times. Like it, I range bandit. I hope you guys did not hear that. My dog is so gassy all the time. He just farts all day. The next prompt we had in this project was for something that highlights, brightens, or illuminates. And of course, of course, knowing me, I had to go with a highlighter. I want to hit pan on the shade Marshmallow in this palette. It was the only pan I had remaining that didn't have pan in it. So I rolled this in with the goal to hit pan. And here's what it was looking like before this update. I was weighing in at 13.5 grams. And with 12 uses, I'm now weighing in at 13.2 grams. And this is what Marshmallow is looking like today. And I'm so happy and thrilled that I have, as Steph Lyons would say, Juicy Lucy Panual. And yes, this is like a little baby pan, but pan is pan in my opinion. And that is now what my ABH Glow Kit looks like everything has pan in it. Like how exciting is this to open this up and see I've used everything so much. I hit pan in it. The last prompt that we had in this project was an item from a non cruelty free brand. And mm, since filming my introduction to now, this is actually a brand that I would consider cruelty free. So I'm thinking about rolling it out of the project continuing to focus on it, but rolling it out for this prompt because it doesn't fit the prompt in my opinion anymore. But that is my Super Goop Unseen Sunscreen, this guy here. I will show you a clip of what it looked like last month, but I ended up using this 22 times within this project this month. That's a lot. My goal is to finish this. I don't want to mark the component because I just, I think it looks sleek with like the holographic unseen sunscreen. Granted, it's all rubbing off now, so it doesn't really matter. But when we rolled this into the project, it was at 49.3 grams of product. At my update one, we're at 31.1 grams of product. So that's a lot of product used. That's a lot of product used. We're almost at 20 grams of product. I was right. It's 18.8 two grams of product used and it's looking so much skinnier. I'll have a better clip go up of like the comparison, but I'm so happy with what I'm doing with this. So I'm going to roll this out. The prompt, I, I'm going to consider the prompt done. I know I'm going to finish this and it's not going to be a chore at all. So now we have to roll our prompts in to replace one, two, 
three, and four items. We are basically resetting this whole project. I'm very excited about that. So I went ahead and I pulled up my project pan category list. It's going to be listed down in the description box if you didn't know that already or if I didn't say that already. Um, but how my spreadsheet, oh man, the sun is coming out and it is going to make me sneeze. Is anyone else a photosensitive light person? <laughs> you! My husband thinks that's weird and so do my coworkers, but I'm like, that's a, it's normal for me. Um, I will have my spreadsheet for this project listed down in the description box. How uh, it's gonna be organized is things that I've used in this project are at the top of the list. I have a like color coordinated thing next to it, like a key, I have a key next to it so you know what prompts were rolled into what month. That being said, my spreadsheet numbers and how I'm going to be pulling them through pretty random, my numbers start at number seven and will go down to 150. So I do have my pretty random app up. So let's just get our first prompt is 137. That's going to be a little nerve wracking. 137 is a color or like a product from ColourPop. So I was fidgeting around and it just spun, but this doesn't count. We're, we're going to do one of those clear histories. We're going to do this again and we get the prompt number 84, which ends up being a mini or sample size item. That's perfect because I already have some things that I'm working on. And the last prompt we're going to pull is 106. Kitten, I really need you to move, buddy. 106 is a product from NYX. I have one more prompt to pull, so that is going to be number 113. Man, we are really um, staying around the same area. And now we have something with cute packaging, so that's exciting. Man, I could double up some of these prompts. I'm not, but I could. So I have grabbed my four products that correlate with those prompts, and I'm really excited. I actually feel like I picked really good items for this new rotation. Um, so the first item was something from ColourPop. And for that, I ended up going with a single. I'll have a close up of this go up. But I have this, um, I have this single and say I do. I wore it on my wedding. I love the shade. I think that this was so cute. Um, and I ended up having this in my no pan left behind. I reached for it a ton in the month of January. I was really gravitating towards those pink looks and I have a substantial like dip. I don't know if you can see it from back there. In the close-up you'll be able to see it. So I would love, absolutely love, if I could hit pan in this. And it's a ColourPop matte so it's going to take some time. However, I do think that I could do it and I think I could do it within the month of February. This is the shade Say I Do swatched out, so it definitely could be worn as a blush also. Then something for the prompt mini slash sample size, and I'm going to roll two items in because I have been using them, so I don't think there's much in either. Um, those are these guys here. These have been the moisturizers I have been putting on in the morning before I do my makeup. They are not something I like to wear when I put my Tretinoin on, so these are just like I put it on very, very, very sparingly. I got both of these through work. We're both through vendor. Um, the first one is the Urban Skin RX. This is their pro line. This is the Hydra Balance Brightening Moisture Infusion Hyaluronic Acid Oligopeptide 68. Who knows? That is this guy. I don't think there's much in it. I couldn't tell you. There's, like, if I were to squeeze, that's where it needs to be squeezed up to in order to get product starting to come out. So this already has a lot of progress in it. Same thing I think with this guy that's going to roll in. They're going to be tandem products. This is the Sunday Riley CEO 15% vitamin C serum, another brightening product. So I use them in the same way. I use it as a moisturizer in the morning. This I can see only has a teeny tiny itty bitty amount left in there. So I definitely feel like I can finish these up. I definitely will. I will finish those eyes up. Then the next prompt was something from NYX and I uh, topped my lips with the product that I'm rolling in. So I might look a little bit more vampy on my lips now. And now that I have it on, I'm like, do I even want to put this in? I am going to though, because I really would like to use this up at some point this year. This is the NYX Filler Instinct in Sugar Pie. Now, I thought this was going to be a little bit lighter. Um, purchased it online, of course. There's already like, I don't know if you'll be able to tell, there's already a substantial amount of usage in there. When you first get them, they're a little bit raised above the component and now I'm like, well, 
in the component. Like I don't have a ton of product in it, but it's going to take forever because it's a shade that I don't gravitate towards that often. But I figure this time of year, like winter is going to be a better time to reach for this than any other time in the year. But I would love to use this 15 times and see what kind of use I can get out of this. Then the very last prompt was something with cute packaging. And I, when I rolled the first prompt, I was like, I'm going to put this in. And then the cute packaging, I was like, oh no, it fits in both prompts. But I'm going to roll another ColourPop product in because I freaking love this packaging so much. I was just staring at it this morning. I was, I have... I was using this as like my compact to like look at my eyeshadow as I was doing my lower lash line and I just keep doing this because I just love all of the little holographic flip that you get in this package. This is the ColourPop and Sailor Moon collab from a couple years ago at this point. This is the blush. Oh my gosh, it's just so cute. This is the blush in the shade From the Moon. It is the more pink tone of the blushes and it's the one that has the most imprint showing still of my two blushes. The other one has much more of Luna worn away. I don't want to wear away the imprint. I don't want to hit pan in this. What I want to do is reach for this 20 times and I definitely think I could. Um, I initially wanted 15 uses and I was like, mm, that doesn't seem like that much of a challenge. 20 does seem like a challenge though. Like 20 seems like an amount that I could finish within a month, but I also have been fluctuating my blushes so much that I feel like that's going to take two or three months. We had four rollouts this month. So we started the year real strong and then we'll just like coast for the rest of the year, I feel like. So I don't think I'm going to get through all 150 prompts this year. This might be something that I continue on throughout next year. I haven't really decided. That's a year away from now, man. But that is it for my year long roulette pan project pan that I'm doing. Again, I definitely recommend checking out Alexi and Rebecca Morgan's channels. Alexi doesn't post anymore, but she has loads of content from previously. Pan those eyeshadows in particular, the roulette pan collab. She has a lot of content from back when she did those. And then Rebecca does still post on YouTube. So I will have her channel linked in the description box. I definitely recommend checking her out. She is incredible. Always has really unique looks that she posts and everything. Like really recommend her in general. But that is it for my year-long project pan. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you made it to the end of the video, I would love if you left me a moon of some sort, any, any moon emoji to go with Sailor Moon here. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching. The light is coming out, so I'm going to start sneezing again. So I'm just going to wrap this up. I hope you guys are staying healthy, sane, and safe, and I will catch you in the next video. Bye!